Number two, connecting with the J Plus Pilot app. So we've got everything set up so that we can connect it to the booster and carry on with our onboarding. We take the household adapter here, just match the colors and then it fits tight. The moment it clicks like this, it's watertight, can be driven over and is completely safe. I'll put the booster here so you can see it clearly. I now plug it into the socket and what you see now is that the booster is booting up. It checks the socket, sees that it is only one phase and that it can draw 13 amps from the Sugo type socket. Later we'll show you how the booster works outside. For now let's download the J-Class Pilot app first. In the video description, we've added links to the app in the Android and iPhone app stores. Or you can just scan the code here. Once you've installed the app and created an account, start the app and log in. On the start page, you'll have a cool overview of all the possible devices, groups and vehicles that you have added to the app. Have a look around, there's a lot to discover. Now we're going to devices and adding a new Juice Booster 3 Air. You can read about it in detail later. Right now, we'll just go through it very quickly. Now you need your owner and warranty card. It's the key to your booster, because it has the QR code on the back. You scan this code and it connects to the booster via Bluetooth. Now it wants you to choose a Wi-Fi network. We'll make it easy on ourselves. We'll just set up a hotspot. So we turn on our personal hotspot. For all iPhone users, the iPhone usually sets up a 5 GHz network. For the booster though, it's easiest to start with a 2.4 GHz for now. We're getting a bit nerdy here. You just tap Maximize Compatibility here and then you can connect to the booster. Now tap Configure Wi-Fi. Once it has scanned all Wi-Fi networks, it will show you a list here. Here at the top, that's me. I just tap on it and enter my password. Onboarding 123. Check that I typed that correctly. Yep, connect. The app now transmits the password to the booster and the two can connect. The useful thing about a hotspot, whenever you're out somewhere and you want to set up the booster before charging, you can connect directly to the booster in this way. We see at the very top of the screen that the booster is now connected and the Wi-Fi is set up. What all do we have here? I'll give you just a quick overview. We'll definitely make a detailed video about the app in the future, especially about all settings and about load management. Here at the top, we see the booster that we configured, along with the internal temperature of the unit. It's certainly warm. We also see which Wi-Fi network it's connected to and the signal strength. Here in the cockpit, we see which conductor is plugged in and the maximum possible current in amperes. At the top right is the Smart Juice Group. You can also pause the charging process in the upper left corner. And with this scroll wheel, you can restrict the power settings. Let's compare. I tap plus and it immediately changes on the booster. Now I have even more options that appear while I'm charging. Measured values about this booster unit and this charging process. I can add new Wi-Fi networks in the settings. I can give the booster a name. I can also see which electricity price I'm getting, so that I can keep track later on. Or if I'm part of a fleet, which price I can bill. You can add RFID cards here. You just tap the plus symbol and enter the number on the RFID card. It is then immediately stored and can be used in future to unlock the booster by placing the card on the controller. This is a super exciting feature that we're continually updating. The Juice Controller. You can set it so that it doesn't have any functions. Or you can set it so that you can only charge the power level or unlock the connector. Or both. Before you start the charging process, the button responds to single presses so that you can change the power level. Once the process has started, the booster locks the button after about 30 seconds. That's so that no one walks up and reduces the power of your booster. Once the booster is locked, you can end the charging process and unlock the device, as long as you are near your vehicle and have your key or your mobile. We've made a separate video about this function. You can find it here in the top right corner. Why not check out this short video? So far, so apt. That's it for integration. Now, let's charge our vehicle.